Anna Image Generation and Hardware Design CT Scan System Basic Parts 1 High Voltage Generator 2 X-Ray Tube 3 X-Ray Detector 4 Scan Control 5 DAS 6 Image Processor 7 Host PC Principle of DAS Scan System Fan beam scanner All CT scanners are fan beam scanners with rotating tube detector system. The detector array consists of solid state or xenon detector elements. Detector elements The detector elements measure the radiation intensities during a scan. DAS forward slash DMS The electronic system that transfers the detector element signal to the image processor is called DAS, Data Acquisition System or DMS, Data Measurement System. The signal processing steps of the DAS are Amplification Integration Analog to Digital Conversion Monitor Detector In addition, the DAS has to transfer the monitor detector element signals. The monitor element measures the unattenuated radiation before it enters the scan field. The Solid State Detector DMS Basics The Solid State Detector Detector The Solid State Detector, also called Scintillation Crystal Detector, consists of individual detector elements. Each element, in turn, consists of encapsulated scintillation crystals fixed to the surface of light-sensitive diodes. These elements are mounted on a printed circuit board. Detector element 1 X-ray quantum is absorbed in the crystal and generates photons of visible light. The number of photons generated in the crystal depends on the energy absorbed by the crystal. The light quanta reach the photodiode directly or after reflection at the light-proof element walls and generate an electric current in the range of 0, 2 A. This current is then measured and processed in the DAS electronics. The Xenon Gas Detector DMS Basics The Xenon Gas Detector Detector The gas detector work on the principle of the ionization chamber. The anode and cathode plates are mounted inside the aluminium housing. Every two anodes and their corresponding cathode form one ionization chamber. The number of ionization chambers depends on the scanner type. Detector element 1 Detector element, equals channel, is the volume between two plates on the same potential. As radiation enters the detector, it ionizes the xenon gas between the electrodes. In results electrons and ions are generated. Since an electrostatic field is maintained between the electrodes, the charges are accelerated to the anodes and cathodes. The Monitor Detector Principle of DAS The Monitor Detector The generator in CT system delivers the dose with a certain variation, usually around 1-2%. Even though this is already very stable, it is still not precise enough. Because the measurement system has a precision of 1 ppm, part per million, the 100% value, i.e., the unattenuated signal must be measured by a monitor element. This monitor value is used as a reference for all detector signals in the preprocessing step normalization. This way small dose changes from one reading to the next, will not be mistaken for absorption changes measured by the detector elements. Signal Processing Principle of DAS Signal Processing 
detector element the radiation detected by the detector element is converted into a current. I, U amplifier a current to voltage converter is used to make it possible to measure the very small currents. The voltage is proportional to the radiation intensity detected by the detector element. Integration amplifier the signal is integrated. PGA forward slash FPA the integrated signal is fed into the FPA, floating point amplifier. Also the word PGA, programmable gain amplifier, is used. The FPA, equals PGA, is an amplifier which selects its gain automatically. The gain selection 1.8 or 64 depends on the FPA input signal i.e., signal amplitude itself. The gain that was used for each signal is transmitted to the SMI in two FPA bits. Add conversion The output of the FPA is connected to the ADC, analog to digital converter. The ADC converts the analog signal into a 16-bit digital information. Out of these 16 bit, only the 14 MSB, most significant bit, are transmitted. The 2 LSB, least significant bit, are not usually transmitted. This way, no jittering LSB can cause problems in measuring very small signals. Transmitter All data are serialized and transmitted to the image processor for processing them into images. Hardware Overview 1. Detector Connections 2. Integrator Boards 3. Dot analog Buses 4. Monitor Channel 5. Dot analog to Digital 6. Test Signal and Timing Hardware Overview Detector connection The radiation detected by the detector element is converted into a current. Because the current flow is very small in magnitude, the detector connection to the integrator, filter or hybrid boards must be very close to prevent any noise pickup. Integrator boards Each board has to convert the very small currents generated by the detector elements into voltages suitable for AD conversion. The current Theoretical range 0, 2 A, is converted into a voltage that could theoretically be between 0 and 10 V. Practically, the complete range is never used, in order to avoid saturation problems. Analog bus The outputs of the boards from an analog bus system which is connected to one or more a forward slash D converter, S. Monitor channel The monitor channel, i.e., the signal of the monitor detector is connected to and converted by one or all ADC, S. ADC, S, the ADC outputs are connected to the transmitter. The latter performs a parallel to serial conversion and sends the data to the image processor, via a serial data path. Test data for test purposes, it is possible to send test data to the image processor. Digital info from a ROM in the DMS are sent instead of detector signal using the correct software. This test can verify if the SMI and the serial data transmission line work or not. Timing The generation of the internal timing signals is done by the DMS itself. This timing circuit is controlled by external control signals. FPA, PGA, ADC DMS Hardware FPA, PGA, ADC The FPA, PGA, ADC, floating point, programmable gain, amplifier contains four blocks. FPA, PGA, floating point, programmable gain, amplifier. ADC, analog to digital converter. Output latch. Auto zero circuit. The analog buses of the integrator and monitor boards are connected to the inputs of the FPA. FPA The FPA, PGA, is an amplifier which selects its gain automatically. The selected gain can be 1,8 or 64.
the gain used is indicated by two bits called FPA bits. ADC The FPA output is connected to the ADC. The ADC converts the analog value to a 16-bit digital information, but only the highest 14 bits are used. Dynamic range of DAS using this configuration, i.e., a PGA with steps of 1,8 and 64 followed by a 16-bit ADC transmitting only the 14 MSB, the overall dynamic range of the DMS is 1 to 1 .000 .000. This means that a signal can be measured with a precision of 1 ppm and still deliver the very high speed required to measure 768 elements, with double integrators giving 1536 signals plus monitor values plus start forward slash stop words etc. for every reading and each reading needing only app. 750 NS, values 4 plus 4. Latch the 14 bits and the two FPA are temporarily stored in the output latch before they are transferred, via the 16-bit ADC bus, to the parallel to serial converter. Auto zero circuit The auto zero circuit generates an analog compensation value out of the 16-bit converted information. This analog compensation value is added to the FPA input signal to compensate for the FPA ADC offset drift. Floating point analog to digital conversion. DMS hardware. Floating point of forward slash D conversion. Jittering One possible source of problems is the jittering LSB. If the input voltage is just on the edge between either activating or not activating the LBS, the result of the conversion has an error of 50%. If the LSB is not active, the output would indicate zero voltage. While, if used, the output would indicate the full level the LSB stands for. Oversampling is excluded in CT because the required ADC speed is too high. The solution is not to transmit the 2 LSB, so that effectively only 14 bit get transmitted. Now, even the LSB out of these 14 is significant without allowing for the jitter effect, because internally inside the ADC, two more bits were used. PDA, FPA. 214 individual steps are not sufficient for the required precision. So, before sending the analog input to the DC, a PGA, FPA, amplifies the signal, the factor of 1,8 or 64 depending on the signal amplitude itself. Resolution The resulting resolution can be calculated to be better than 1 part per million, significant, not plus or minus 1 half LSB. 10V divided by 214 almost equal to 610V. Maximum possible input voltage divided by ADC effective resolution. 610V divided by 64 is app. 9.5V. Result divided by maximum PGA factor. 9.5V divided by 10V is app. 1 divided by 1.000.000. .000 .000 resulting dynamic range. The CT scanner system design determines how efficiently X-rays are finally converted to electrical signal as the detector output, after passing through the patient. CT scanner image generations block diagram. Thank you.